Yo, what's up? Today, I'm going to talk about Dom and Roland industry. All right, if, if you, you know, grew up on drum and bass, man, come on. You know who Dom and Roland is. Fucking dude released mad shit in the 90s. But this one, when, you know, when he started to do the, that heavy break, you know, song like Thunder, um, that, you know, that you heard on the, on the Moving Shadow uh, mix CDs, the one that you just sell for like a couple of quid and stuff, you know, th those, I gotta do videos on those, cause I almost have the entire collection, but this one is, it's, you know, the first track is Thunder, and then the rest of them kinda sound the same, but with different bass lines, you know, that same, that same beat, the Trayman beat, or the, a the uh, a weird version of the, the Amen beat, but this this one's all over it, you know. It's like a, it's like a, it's more experimentation with with the beats, but it, it's it's pretty solid. It, it it's a got it's a solid CD, you know. I think it's hard as a as a producer to release albums because, you know, I think it's better to release a single here and there, and you know, it's oh that's that dude, you know. Three months later, oh, is that, is that guy again? But when you get everything in one album, you know, you start noticing a lot of the songs kind of start to sound the same, you know, same formula, but good overall. But I don't know. I kind of like this one, man. Uh, one of the one of the one of the better CDs that that came out, you know, at that time, but. You know, once again, like I always say, if you find it, grab it. Why not? All right. There you go.